In this lesson, we will learn how to create a custom form in Softimotive Win Automation and save the data to Excel. So we want to create a custom form here in Softimotive Win Automation that saves the following data, first name, last name, sex, email and password into this Excel worksheet. We can see that we already have a data row, uh, this one. So we want to store the data into the first three row of this Excel worksheet. I call it new Microsoft Excel worksheet and save it on the desktop. So let's close it and go to Softimotive Win Automation. I'll cl uh, click new process. I can call it custom form example, and I'll just choose a free canvas here. The first thing I want to do is to launch the Excel. I want to read this Excel worksheet. So find a launch Excel. I can either double click or just drag it in. We will launch Excel and we will open the document. So click the drop down and choose to open the following document. We could either have a variable where we store our path or we can just hard code it in by choosing this select file and point to where you have your Excel file. As I said, I have mine on the desktop, so I'll just click open. I'll make it visible. That's good for example, but if you want to create a more complicated workflow, you might want to make this invisible. So Excel doesn't open up. We can see that we store our Excel instance into a variable called Excel, Excel instance here. That's fine. We can refer to this variable later on. And then uh, Softimotive know that it's this Excel worksheet. So far, so good. Then we want to get the first free row of this Excel sheet. So find a get first free column row. I double click it to drag it in. We can see that we refer to our variable. That was the sheet that was from up here. So that's fine. And we store our first free column into a first free column variable. The first free column, that's the name of this variable. And we won't use this variable. However, we will use this. And that is the first free row. We will store this into this variable called first free row. Like this. Then we can create our custom dialog and save the results into this Excel sheet. So on the message boxes, we will find a display custom dialog. Drag this guy in. And this pops up. So over here to the left, this is our form as it looks now. It's completely empty. There's only a help text here. But what we can do is we can drag in the things from the right to our form. We can have input fields, radio buttons, normal buttons, and so on. So let's just create it. The first field, that's our first name field. And we will need to specify an idea. That's for use when we want to call this exact field. So we will just call it first name without a space in between. And the label, that's what the user, what's what the user sees. So first name, like this. Then we can scroll a little bit down. We can, of course, create help text, short description. But this, this example, we won't. We will make it an, a required value. That means that the user have to type something in here before continuing. Then we'll click Save. We can see that the name changes over here. We will drag in another input and we will call this last name. Our label, that will be last name um, with a space in between like this. And it will be a required field as well. So click save. Now we can have our sex. This is uh, an option where we only have two sexes, at least in our case. I know that we have a lot of uh, more sexes, but here let's just uh, stick to two sexes, male and female. So we go to radio uh, checkboxes and choose the inline radio buttons here. And we can see that we have three options. First thing, let's create an idea. We can call this sex and the label will be sex as well. We can see that we need to line up our options as a list. So each new line is a new option in this radio buttons over here. So just say female and male. We can have a default value, let's just choose female. Um, should it be required? Yes, sure, like this. And then we click save, like this. 
Now we need a password. So go to input again, and we can see that we have a password here. That is nice because we will uh, shade the um, characters that the user types in here. The ID is password, the label is password, it's fine. And it's a required field, fine, save. Then we just need to email and maybe we should put the email in before the password, like here. So we will have an email as idea and as a label. This one will be required as well. And now we will choose an allowed value. So click this drop down and choose email. Then click save. Now we are done with the input fields of our custom form. Then we just need an OK button and maybe a cancel button. So go to buttons. Drag these two buttons in, and you can of course just add new buttons or delete buttons. So the first thing that we will do is that we will call the first button confirm. And we will specify that when clicking this button, this input dialog closes, so fine. Then we will have a second button, uh, let me delete this, and this one will be a cancel button. This will also close down the input dialog. Then we click save. Now we just need to go to dialog properties and we can see here that we have an accept button or cancel button. The accept button will save our data and the cancel button won't. So in this drop down choose our confirm button and in the cancel button choose to cancel. And the rest of the settings we won't touch in this example. Then we click done. Now we created our custom dialog and we can see that we store our dialog results into a variable called custom dialog results. That's good. We click OK. Now what we need is to write the, uh, the results from the custom dialog into our Excel sheet. So uh, find a write to Excel worksheet. Drag this guy in. Let's first write out the first name to the, the, to the first name column. Uh, we want to write to the Excel instance, that's fine, that was this sheet from up here. What do we want to write? Well, we want to write the results from the custom dialog, so click the wheel here, and we will choose the custom dialog results here. Then we click OK. Now we need to specify that we want the first name, so click in between here, just uh, before the person sign, and make some uh, hard brackets like this and type in first name. Remember we call this variable first name without the space, so that's how we call it. Like this, and we need a quotation mark. That's how we call this variable. So where do we want to write it to? We want to write it into our first column, right? And the row, that was our first three row. So let me open the Excel, oh, let me just store, uh, click the wheel here and have the first three row like this, then we click OK. And now let me open up the Excel worksheet because I want to show you something so you can see what's actually going on. Um, we will have it open here. So the first name, that was the first name, that what was what, what what's the column that we want to write in? And then we want to write into the first three row, that's here. So next time we will choose the last name, the sex, the email, and the password. So go to our uh, here. So the thing that we want to change is the name in uh, from the dialog results. This one will be last name, and then the column will be two because that's the next column. So what we can do here is to mark this activity. We press Control C and then we press Control V. We can create activities for all the five uh, variables like this. Then we just need to change it all the way down. The first thing that's this one. That's the last name. So we can just change this last name, and this one will go into column two and still the first three row like this. Then we want to have the sex. So in here as well, we will just have sex. That will be the third column, and of course, there's still the first three row. I think you get the drill now. Then we have the email. And remember, this was the variable names, not the labels, but the names. This one will be the four column. And now we just need to store the password um, here. Password into the fifth column, like this. 
So now we are actually done. We can uh, close this Excel sheet. It will open up again when we run. But let's try to run the process and verify that it indeed works. So now it launches Excel. It opens up. It comes. Uh, our uh, custom dialog comes. We can see that we can choose a first name. Let's just say Anders. The last name will be Jensen. I am a male. My email is Anders. At amazonjensen.org and a password that's super secret. So I'll just type it in here. Let me retype it like this. Then we can click confirm and we can see that we write our results in the Excel sheet. And we can now go to the Excel sheet and verify that we indeed got the right results. We can see that we indeed have here. We have Anas Jensen mail. We have an email. And my password, my super secret password is here. So in this lesson, you learned how to create a custom form and save the data to Excel.